Ah, I wait for this moment every day, all day. The moment, the moment that I drink my first sip of Java. It is Monday, January 29th-ish. And this is the Morning Cryptos. We're going to see, I took yesterday off, we're going to see what's going on today, and uh, there was a little positivity yesterday, but oh no, couldn't last. So it uh, looks like we have a uh, little bit of a downishness going on here today with Bitcoin. Let's uh, check in with the news. Uh, there was one article that I already looked at, Let's see if I can get there, uh, Bitcoin price looking heavy as the news turns negative. Uh, this is on a uh, CoinDesk article, um, and essentially, they do the thing they always do: is like it could go up for this reason, or it might go down for this reason. Uh, and the bottom line is, you can just look at the chart and feel the heaviness. I mean, if you do that kind of thing. So, um, Bitcoin price crash bloodbath. Cryptocurrency could drop eighty percent as Tether. Dot dot dot. That's the Daily Express. You're welcome to look at that if you want, but it's usually just hype. Um, Bitcoin price. Fraudsters using surge in cryptocurrency to trick people into scams. Uh, I highly recommend you avoid Ponzi schemes. Anything that like guarantees you a daily interest, uh, be wary. Anything that says they do mining and they have a trading bot and you just have to loan your Bitcoin to them and they'll give you something else and then you hold it, put it in for 300 days and probably a scam. Um, all right, so that's it. Not much there. Let's actually look at Bitcoin news, see if there's something remotely interesting. Uh, Weiss gets digital currency ratings horribly wrong. Okay, Bitcoin News, Deutsche Bank warns Bitcoin holds real risk of total loss. All right. Okay, so it sounds like it might be a good day to buy some Bitcoin, right? That's, you, you got it, right? You got it, you're right. Might be a good day to buy some Bitcoin. And uh, so far, this, the price is still above these bottoms. So it's not the end of the world. It's just not moving like it was. Hello. Let's crank through some of these others. Um, you know what? Let's actually, uh, I'll edit this out if it takes too long, but let's just set some moving averages up. We'll do four of them. One, two, three, four. Boom. And we're going to start with, okay, we'll keep the 50, no, I want to make that a 25 day. We'll keep it green. 25 day. This is how you do it, by the way, if you want to learn how to make a moving average. It's no big deal. So we got a 50, and let's make this yellow in style. I'm trying to be consistent with my indicators so that I can remember what they are. This is going to be the 100 day. And let's make that a nice blue, a bright blue, and then we'll do this one as the 200 day, and we're going to make that as bright a purple as we can, okay, good, all right, so looking at the moving averages, like Bitcoin has yet, has yet to touch down on a 200 day moving average. And it's not like the 200-day moving average is really low. It reflects this big move. So it's very possible that it could come down to this 200-day uh, line. I mean, it's just all the other coins seem to do it. So why why would Bitcoin not, right? Um, the 50-day uh, the is now above the 25-day. That's interesting. So... 
I don't know, people. Now you have more information to be confused by, right? <laughs> but we are smack dab on the 100-day average. That's not a bad place to be, considering that the 100-day average is up this high. Uh, and it reflects this big move. So I'm not catching the... Uh, I'm not catching the fear, right? So hopefully you're not catching fear either and you're just going, okay, might be a good time to buy another 100 bucks worth of Bitcoin over at Coinbase today. Could be, or let's see what else is going on. We have Bitcoin Cash. Uh, Bitcoin Cash is also a little bit above the 100-day moving average, which is fine. It doesn't have a 200-day yet. Bitcoin Gold, and I just swear to God, Bitcoin Gold has the sweetest chart, and I say that every goddamn day. <laughs> Look at this, people. Bitcoin Gold has a sweet little chart, okay? It's really pretty, and uh, it might be time if it comes down a little bit more today, but doesn't crash. If it holds, you might want to get some. Of course, if it crashes, you might want to get some, too, but um, because I... I just see this pattern. This is music, people. It's going to repeat. Bloop. 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 It's just slowing down. Do you see the, the speed? So it's like you have another week or so, maybe. Um, but not a bad time to get into some Bitcoin gold. If, if you want to do some range trading. Range trading for newbies. I don't know. It's a good practice place. Put 100 bucks in, or get one, $182, and you can practice range trading. Just do it, right? <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. This is not to be construed as investment advice. Don't do anything I tell you to do unless you really want to do it, and you choose to do it, and you decide to do it, and you think it's a good idea. And if you make money, you don't have to give me any, all right? If you lose money, sorry, tough shit. <laughs> be a grown-up. All right. Uh, where was I? Uh, by the way, I I often before while I'm making my coffee, I watch humor. I find it very very helpful, and I I watched a cold open from Saturday Night Live, and it was it was really fun. Anyway, got me up, got me happy. You got to take charge of your own internal state, people. And watching comedy is one way we can do it with no drugs until the drug of caffeine kicks in. Mm-hmm. All right, dash. Another little downish day. Not a bad time to get some. Uh, and that's just, I think, where we are again. I think we're in a quiet little time in between big moves. Um, uh, EOS is down a little bit, but it's still quite up, thank you. It's above the 25-day average. And... Uh, I think it's a good project, and let's see, Ethereum Classic. I haven't looked at that in a while. Hmm. Not a bad chart for range trading, just like kind of Bitcoin Gold. Some of these smaller, uh, less hyped uh, projects that actually have somewhat of a track record in that you know they're using the code that has been fairly tested and proven, and they're just doing kind of derivatives of the code. You could call this a crypto derivative <laughs> um, yeah <clears throat> if it comes down here if it comes back today down to this area I'll draw a little yellow line for you kind of in this area bloop, bloop, bloop. might not be a bad time to get in I mean we got us a, we got us a trend and you can you can wiggle the line wherever you want, <clears throat> but if it comes down to this point, that might be a setup for the next pop, as far as a range trade kind of a deal. You can still make money in this market, people. That's that's still just have to be a little more patient, uh, and this is a good time to learn stuff. All right, Ethereum, we had a little pullback today so far, and you know today started in Asia last night here in the uh, Eastern time zone. Um, so we'll see what happens when America starts trading for the day. Um, but I think Ethereum's strong. It's holding, it's just, 
it still seems too high to me to to play with. Um, I get burned whenever I go, oh, okay, it's going to stay at this new level. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Iota. Nice time to get some Iota. I think it's kind of setting up a nice little plateau. It is here on the 100 day. Um, not a bad time. I mean, obviously, if it drops down to the 200, better, <laughs> right? But whether or not, we'll see if it holds. The 200 may just start working its way up, and if they cross and come together, that might be a really good sign. So we'll see. Litecoin. We had a little hope yesterday, which has been dashed. <laughs> Sorry, that was dash. Uh, it was light yesterday, but now its hopes have been dashed a little bit. Um, yeah, I think we're just for the next little while, we're going to see some sideways range and maybe some tightening in. Anytime it comes down, it might be a good time to buy some. Stock up, buy it on sale. Neo is pumping again. Jesus. Crazy. Go Neo. I had a lot of Neo at one point. <laughs> I sold it all. Sold it all. Took my profits. Put it into other stuff. Okay, Omise Go. Same deal, just hanging. This Omise goes below the 50-day uh, average, but above the 100-day average. Uh, just looking, just looking. This is what I do in the morning. Hopefully it's uh, not too much like watching paint dry. Kind of feels that way. Um, Quantum, steadily moving up, by the way. I don't know if you noticed it. Steadily moving up. The last time Quantum steadily moved up, it had a big pop, right? So kind of looking at it. And uh, might not be a bad time to get some. Uh, I wouldn't mind it coming back a little bit more, but we'll see. Uh, Monero. I think I have one Monero. I have a tiny little mining contract in Monero, too, so I might have more than one at this point. But uh, kind of just hanging at 318. Just holding steady. Not a lot, people. The 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 Mayats are quiet. The, the, the markets are quiet. The Mayats are quiet. Yeah, the markets are quiet. Uh, XRP, definitely, if XRP comes down to this line, I would consider getting some. But I'm still waiting. We'll see. Zcash. Zcash, Zcash, Zcash. Still just hanging on its kind of middle ground here between the 50 and the 100 day averages. Not a horrible place. Let me look at my beloved Cardano, my pet project. Uh huh. There we go. Hanging in against Bitcoin. Let's see it against the US dollar tether. By the way, uh, Crypto Investor, I think it was, has, I think it's Crypto Investor, has a new a new video out about US dollar tether, which I have not watched yet, but I think it might be a good idea for us all to watch that. Um, this is a US dollar tether chart. It's really convenient over at Bittrex to have US dollar tether to be able to step out of the market, whether or not it's a massive, uh, a massive, disaster waiting to happen. I don't know yet. Um, the only other choice is to move stuff to Coinbase and put it in your US dollar wallet, which supposedly is actually US dollars. But it's on Coinbase's system, right? So you have to trust them, right? Yeah, All this third party shit, you have to trust somebody. And we are not yet at the place where decentralized exchanges, where you and I can just swap stuff back and forth or whatever. We're not yet kind of at that point. Um, but perhaps we're getting there. Anyway, Cardano's looking, it's just hanging, just hanging. I think it's, it's starting to be a good time to buy. I bought too soon, as I always do. <laughs> Premature speculation. <laughs> Premature speculation. Uh, you want to wait. You know, you want to wait till she's ready to pop before you get in, but you don't always know when that is. So anyway, uh, basic attention token against Bitcoin. Let's take a quick peek at that. Doing well. Nice. Right up on the 25-day average. And 
what are some of the other ones I'm looking at? Um, I am, I have some NXT and it's just doing nothing. It's just sitting there. So I would say NXT might be a good time to get some. It's pretty, pretty low. But for me, I don't know if it's a hold. I think it's a next time it has a pump, dump it. That's, that's my opinion. And if I did more research on it, maybe I would know. But I just don't have the same warm, fuzzy feelings about NXT that I have for Dash or Cardano or even 10X because uh, they just do a lot better job of communicating with me. And here on, on 10X, by the way, this is the Bitcoin chart. Look at this. We have the 25, the 50 and the 100-day average all converging at this point. This is the actual average price <laughs> of 10x, right here, right this second. <laughs> and it's below it. Uh, I think it's a good team. I think it's a really good uh, project. And it's not just about loading up a plastic card with your crypto so you can spend it anywhere you want they have a lot more going and i think they're here for a while they really kind of have a vision in some ways to be a lot more like amazon.com where they get started and they they get into a process where they're really providing a service and a need and building a community and connecting and supporting and communicating with that community and then facilitating other things that that community wants to me that's really good that's that's a pretty pretty good project so but again you know who knows the uh looks like the 200 day average is way up here and we're on the one day chart so we're well below the 200 day average we're just getting a little bit of it up there so I think 10x could be, I mean, look at this chart. I think it's one of those times when 10x, you know, it's not as low as it's been, but it's just kind of sticking at this one spot. Um, and there's a lot of room to move. So that's that's 10x on there. Let's look at a US dollar chart here. Let's just hit refresh because I think this was yesterday's data. And, of course, how long is it going to take? There we go. Do, 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 any day now, World Coin Index. Oh, come on. There we go. All right. All right. So, Tanix had a little bit of a boost yesterday. It's down a little bit today. Um, $2.54. I think that's a decent price. I, you know, I think, I think we're going to see some good stuff. But that's, again, the, the lesson, people, that the newbies like us have to learn is you want to buy stuff when it's not in favor in the mainstream media, right? Or when it's not being paid much attention to. Or when they're doing stuff behind the scenes, but they haven't, like, made their announcements yet. You know what I mean? So that's why you got to pick enough projects to keep you interested, but not so many projects that you get overwhelmed. And that's why I've kind of honed it down to some of these. I'm still keeping an eye on a bunch of them, but um, these are the ones that I, you know, Verge, I'm also kind of keeping an eye on because I did pretty well with some kind of range trading with Verge. Uh, I think back here at some point I got in and then I got out. Um, but this nice steadiness here, this is a good entry point. Uh, but check into Verge. I have to do some more research on it to see if they're actually making progress or if it's just a hype coin. Um, it seemed like they had a pretty good handle on bringing some new ideas into the privacy coin sphere, but then it just got a little bit weird and crazy. So anyway, those are the ones I'm looking at today. And uh, let's go back to Mama Papa Bitcoin. Get our grounding here. And Shazam Shazupi. There we are. Mama Papa Bitcoin. Uh, I don't think the news is horrible. I just don't think it's great. And we've been, you know, so used to great news that this, it's still a correction. It's still 
I think needed and necessary. But please ignore the mainstream media when they talk about how it's crashing, how it's da 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 da. They just keep doing that over and over again, and Bitcoin always just keeps moving on. And uh, particularly if the Lightning Network comes in, and we're seeing some rumors that it might be ready soon, which is about a year from now, um, it could solve its problems. In the meantime, we have Bitcoin Cash, we got Bitcoin Gold, we got Ethereum, we got Litecoin, we got Dash, we got Cardano, we got Quantum, we got a bunch of other choices. So Bitcoin kind of does need to get its shit together, but it's not disappearing today. That's my that's my final pronouncement of today's. Uh, this is week five, by the way. This is the beginning of my fifth week of this ninety day challenge. But really, the reality is, we're coming up to February seventh was my first purchase of Bitcoin. So we're coming up to my actual anniversary. And then I just have been kind of doing 90 day intensives just to kind of push myself to learn and to get experience and to just dive deep into the pool, you know, dive deep into the rabbit hole. So that's where I am. And I really appreciate you guys. Thanks. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And I just also uploaded a brand new song. Uh, I did that last night, uh, wrote it last week or so and been just kind of playing with it. Uh, it might not be in its final form, but check out that song. It's called Carolina, uh, inspired by the Carolina wren that sings in my yard. Uh, and it just sings all winter. It's the only bird that sings all winter. Um, and it's really nice to have some bird song. And uh, so anyway, it's a song about that. That's it for today. If you like this, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe and please share this with someone who you love dearly. And uh, I think any other business. I think that's it. I think that's it. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff below every video. Check into some of that stuff. I give you some pretty good resources there. And uh, that's it. My job is to be as helpful as possible and to learn this as well as possible and to teach it while I learn it because that's what I do. And that's it. I'll see you tomorrow. All the best to you. Have a great, calm, peaceful, quiet, Day in the cryptos. <laughs> Start the music! Mm -hmm.